Finance Minister Arun Jaitley said the loss of NDA in Bihar polls will not impact the economic reform process and it will continue in rapid pace. Attributing the NDA's defeat in Bihar Assembly elections to a huge index of opposition unity, Jaitley said structural reforms will continue. He agreed that irresponsible statements by certain BJP functionaries during the course of elections did vent against the party. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said promoting Lok Adalat will lessen the burden of judiciary and the quality of justice will go up. Speaking on the Legal Services Day in New Delhi, Prime Minister said Lok Adalat can reach out to help the common man who hopes to get justice from the judicial system. He said the delivery of justice is a very challenging task and the concept of Lok Adalat has an important role to play in it. The winter session of Parliament will commence from 26th of this month and the session will continue till 23rd of December. The decision was taken by the Cabinet Committee on Parliamentary Affairs, chaired by Home Minister Rajnath Singh in New Delhi today. Defence Minister Manohar Parikkar said that the government has fulfilled its promise of one rank, one pension. Speaking on OROP notification, the Defence Minister said that core issues including VRS have been sorted out. He added that the Commission will look into the problems, if any. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reviewed the progress of works across various infrastructure sectors. The PM was informed that good progress is being made in 62 crucial infrastructure projects that have been reviewed so far over seven meetings of Pragati. Cyclonic storm formed off Puducherry, expected to hit the Tamil Nadu coast by midnight tonight. People living in low-lying and coastal areas are advised to shift to safer places. Most places of Tamil Nadu and Puducherry are experiencing heavy rain since Sunday. Government declared today a holiday for educational institutions including private run colleges in view of rain and squally weather in Tamil Nadu. India today test fired its nuclear capable strategic ballistic missile Agni 4 capable of hitting a target at a distance of 4000 kilometers from a test range of the Odisha coast as part of a user trial by the armed forces. The indigenously developed surface to surface Agni 4 missile is a two stage weapon system. It is 20 meters long and weighs 17 tons. Nestle has relaunched its popular Maggi noodles across the country. In May, Indian food safety authorities banned the production and sale of Maggi amid claims they contained dangerously high levels of lead. The ban was overturned in the Bombay High Court in August. Nestle had to destroy 400 million packets of Maggi products and stop the production in the wake of the tests. Sri Lanka's Attorney General has issued the release order for 120 Indian fishermen who are presently held in custody on charges of trespassing into Sri Lankan waters. According to Sri Lanka's Foreign Ministry, the release has been ordered as a goodwill gesture by the government of Sri Lanka ahead of the festival of Deepavali. The repatriation of the fishermen is being arranged by the Indian High Commission in Colombo. Dhan Teras festival is being celebrated across the country today. Dhan Teras, which usually falls two days ahead of the Diwali festival, also known as Dhanatrayodashi or Choti Diwali. On this day, prayers are offered to Goddess Lakshmi and it is regarded as an auspicious occasion to purchase gold or silver ornaments and utensils. Iran has appointed its first woman ambassador since the 1979 Islamic Revolution naming Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Marzia Afkam to head its embassy in Malaysia. The Foreign Ministry announced Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Jarifad tribute to Afkam, who was also the first woman in the Islamic Republic to serve as Foreign Ministry spokeswoman. Myanmar is counting ballots after voting ended in the country's first openly contested parliamentary election in more than 25 years. Excitement ran high as voters had the chance on Sunday to decide if the military-backed ruling party will hold on to power or hand over leadership to the main opposition led by the Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi. Unexpected lines N. Srinivasan has been removed as the chairman of the International Cricket Council. The decision to drop him was taken at the BCCI annual general meeting in Mumbai. On the issues of conflict of interest, the BCCI has also removed Ravi Shastri from the IPL Governing Council and Roger Binney as selector. Australia have completed a thumping 208-run victory in the first test after New Zealand's batsmen crumbled at the Gaba today. Black Caps captain Brendan McCullum made a dashing 80, but it was not enough to keep a ruthless Australian attack at bay. On a dramatic morning, Michelle Marsh was on a hat-trick as the Black Caps lost four wickets for seven runs in a space of three overs. Final wicket pair of Mark Craig and Trent Bolt landed some late lusty blows, but it was too little too late for the visitors. 
World number one Novak Djokovic secured his 10th title of the year with an emphatic victory over Britain's Andy Murray at the Paris Masters final. The 6-2-6-4 win achieved in just over 90 minutes also ensured the Serb claimed a record fourth title in Paris. He is the first player to win six ATP Masters series events in the same year.